Hey YouTube, thanks for joining me today. Welcome back to the channel. Um, nothing uh, fancy today, just thought I would bring you along for another meal. Um, I like showing my meals because maybe it gives people ideas. Not necessarily like you're going to recreate this exact uh, meal, but just how you can kind of put meals together. And I try to do them in as nutritious and as cheap a way as possible. I focused a lot more on budget over the last couple of years and uh, yeah I think today is going to be no exception that um, a lot of these things are just staples think staples now I think these are a lot of these things I'll have here are staples pretty much pretty much worldwide somebody will tell me their little wherever they live doesn't have beans I don't know many places in the world that don't have access to beans though but Got me some uh, black beans here, black beans and brown rice. I always buy those um, dried. I don't necessarily, when I say I buy them in bulk, that's a little bit misleading because I don't buy large quantities. In fact, like the beans uh, most of the time uh, are just like in a one pound bag, but black beans are two twenty nine a pound. And that one, uh, that one bag will feed me for three days. I soaked them last night, cooked them this morning. Which brings me to, well, and also the brown rice. After I cooked my, my black beans, uh, while I was getting a shower doing other things, I cooked a pot of uh, brown rice. And that's just something that you can do also to kind of get ahead. Like if you've got a busy week or if you just want to have your food ready for you, you could easily, like on a Sunday, on a Sunday. You could soak uh, two batches of beans uh, Saturday night. You could cook two batches of beans on a Sunday. That would give you basically beans for six days. Um, you cook a pot of rice, you uh, bake three or four sweet potatoes, and bing, bang, boom, you got a lot of stuff already knocked out for the week right there. And then just add a little bit to it. Up here I've got cabbage, the poor, uh, the poor cousin of kale. I don't know they're not actually related I don't think they're in the same family maybe they are maybe they are I don't know I don't know my family stuff but anyhow can, uh, go to Google go to Google and uh, Google uh, cabbage versus kale and you will see that kale does better nutritional wise than uh, several categories but for the price and the availability you can get cabbage most places um, it's the cabbage uh, is compares favorably compares favorably now over here I just wanted to try because you know black beans rice kind of gets me like I say thinking of being back in the tropics back in uh, Latin America so I had some of, I'm having some of my um, plantain ceviche that I made yesterday today if you didn't see the video go watch yesterday's video and I'm also finishing off with something that I used to see in Costa Rica all the time but I never really ate a whole lot and this is the avocado, the green avocados. Those are those big, really bright green avocados that you see in your grocery store. Um, those tend to be, I, I, was, I was reading about them the other day and kind of got me curious to try one as well because they're, they're lower, they're a little, they contain a little bit more water, they're a little bit lower in fat, but some of them I've, uh, I read can have a kind of a nuttier flavor to them. So listen, if, uh, if money is a concern, stick to the basics. If money is not a concern, I would still recommend sticking to the basics. You can find, you can, you know, throw you in something uh, fancy or a treat every once in a while, but uh, you know, this, this good nutritious uh, meal right here. And yes, if you've never realized, I'm like, kind of like a dog, I eat all my meals out of pretty much one bowl, so anyhow, Hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. Be sure you're subscribed to the channel, and I'll see you here again real soon. Peace.